President's derogatory remarks sparked debate on gender respect. Senate President Apabio has apologized after making a controversial remark to Senator Natasha Akoti during a legislative session, addressing her not to speak like she was in the ninth row. The comment has sparked widespread criticism, with many calling it disrespectful to women. Critics argue that such comments could normalize similar behavior in professional settings if not addressed. Gender equality advocates stress the importance of challenging such behavior to ensure respectful and harassment-free workplaces. Experts recommend that women assertively address inappropriate comments and that colleagues publicly support those targeted. Organizations are urged to implement policies and training to promote respectful communication and prevent gender discrimination. Senator Akoti has received support from various quarters with many calling for stronger measures to prevent such incidents in the future. The Senate President's apology has been acknowledged, but the call for greater respect and equality continues to resonate. Mm. Mm. Uh, so I'm very particular about this discussion, right? Um, the respect or disrespect you know, of women, right? Uh, I, I think I was telling Elijah some days back that um, I had a similar experience, right? Where I, it was in the workplace, and I'd just spoken with the boss or director. Um, and then one of the male, you know, a male colleague came and said, why, you, why, you, why do you talk to the boss like, so he, he anyway, he just seemed like, oh, you, you speak seductively to the boss. Um, and I found that very inappropriate and disrespectful, very offensive, right? Um, and so I understand people's point of view or Nigerians' point of view or people who also saw this you know, comment as very inappropriate and disrespectful as well. Um, so I feel like if it is not addressed, if it is not cautioned, if it is not shunned, right, it would become normal and you know, people, it would happen in the workplace, in politics, you know, everywhere in, in the surrounding, and people would just take it normally. And not you know, there's something people. called gender-based remarks. Mm, okay. people, make Gender this, bias. people make these remarks sometimes innocently, mm -hmm. okay. you get. They tend to say things like, oh, because you be girl now. Mm -hmm. they, they, they actually most times do not say it out of like um, being spiteful or mm -hmm. anything. Or but they now in okay. their like, In their subconscious. So you, you, now what I try to tell people is that educate yourself mm -hmm. about remarks. about Because we, we now live in a sensitive era. You understand? People react easily. People react quickly. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand that things you say has a long goes a long way in affecting how people think, how people view, how people react. Mm -hmm. I'm a feminist, you mm -hmm. get. There are some things you cannot say in my presence. Mm -hmm. I will take action, I'll say, I'll counter you. I I I, I process my mind processes things differently from the average mm -hmm. person who is not a feminist. So you should consider that as if you want to go far. If you want to understand processes, you need to educate yourself about remarks. Mm -hmm. So, um, in light of what happened, was it this week or this yeah, week? This last, week, this last, week. Yeah. last week, yeah. In the light of what happened, with such sensitive position as the Senate President, precisely. you should be able to caution. understand and mm -hmm. caution yourself. Yeah, because the thing is, people look up to you. People, people look up to, look up to, you to your exactly. position. So, Oh, the same president did it. Well, of course, it was there. You know, other people can just take it up from there. And it's anyway, I, I have two stories to tell. Okay. Yeah, the first story, just very brief, two brief stories. The first one is during the election, I think 2019 election, and I was in the vehicle and had the opportunity of interacting with some persons, fellow commuters. I was always the possibility of a woman being the president of Nigeria, <laughs> and the men there in that group, including <laughs> sadly a woman. I think I have I have something to say. Yeah, the woman said, "How can a woman be president of Nigeria? What if she's pregnant? How she be?" That was in that note, and the woman was like, "Oh, women, they don't think a woman can be president of Nigeria. Nigeria is too big for a woman." And then wow. the second story is about Natasha Kuti. While she was running for she had 2019 election, she contested for governor, right? Was it governor? Yes, she, was governor. Okay. she was contested for governor. Kogi State. Yeah. The then governor at that time, who you call some people call him the white lion. <laughs> the white lion. Yes. Okay. <laughs> white lion. That's what <laughs> okay. Because he was actually not very fair in handling her 
because of his political interest, but he stretched it further mm -hmm. and started attacking her based on agenda. Mm -hmm. When they were making some certain comment, which I find it condescending to repeat mm -hmm. on her personality, because she is a woman who has worked hard to end whatever she needs to do. So you see this thing, that was said it probably later listening to what people were saying, and he yeah, apologized and said, yeah. I even have four daughters, and mm -hmm. I want my daughters to grow and emerge into mm -hmm. big women. But beyond Senator Akwabi, this is not about Senator Akwabi, it's all. about the society at large. Precise. Can we be more intentional, women, I'm talking to myself and other men out there. Mm -hmm. and, and even women, women. And women, women, women too. Women. And even women, women too. Can so we be more intentional? Thoughts. Everyone, then please respect everyone, mm -hmm. irrespective of their gender. Yeah. Respect their office. If you must address someone, say it properly, respect them. Yeah. Don't use which um sexy slow precisely i find that very yeah. concerning and um, i think that you know organizations should also create policies that you know promote respect to both gender you know women and men i don't know if you understand me gender equality yes respect gender and equality and yes, yes 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 mm -hmm. so um yes. i'm grateful for the organization where i work you know they respect both male and female mm -hmm. i work yes. with the un so yeah so children do want to chip in something <laughs> I don't look like I said this uh, matter has been so overflogged that um, at some point I'm not even sure a lot of people who are raising up their hands even understand what happened or the backstory to this thing now I'm of the opinion that I'm not even aware if Senator Natasha came out to say I don't like what he said to me so this has become a situation of manufactured outrageous oh this uh, feminist group is calling for this thing and then he gives a very manicured response i said was this what they wanted to hear all this uh, trouble that we're all clamoring for the, the the man's head i'm not a fan of any politician but i'll call this one as it's as, as he said it he never said you are not in a nightclub he said we are not in a nightclub what happens in a nightclub? Everybody is screaming and shouting at the top of their voice. So I, I, it was if she had come out to say, do you know what, sir? I'm not comfortable with the things that you said. I would say, okay, uh, uh, Senate President, please apologize to this woman. Are we trying to say that Natasha Abuti does not have agency to say this is not right? When I heard this, I thought maybe she was dressed. I mean, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman, and she's covered totally and all that. But my interest beyond all this uh, outrage was the prayer she was asking. Inland waterway uh, transportation, waterway transportation, all these people screaming, and the man knocked it down. Even uh, Senator Kingibe's own was the fire, the fire that happened in Abuja. And the way he just casually said, like, this is not I our responsibility. Outside. That is what I wanted the outrage to be about. This is where we're supposed to call, um, okay, if Tinubu is our father, right? Uh, the, the vice president is what, our stepfather He's or what? Um, what's his name? Akmabi is our <laughs> uncle. Is the, is the steady? Is the national uncle? For him to say, "Oh, the nays have it." For me, that was my outrage. What these two women were saying was something that is so um, important to our lives. How would women who have just lost everything, or people, and the and the senator is saying, "We need to help these people." You just say no that is not our whatever whatever and we know how much they are using to buy their cars we know how much they are using to live their their lives it's it's our communal is our commonwealth that is keeping most of them there they just say the nays have it and whatever so my own is what was she saying and all of that has been lost to this noise while we are looking for apology. So what did he say? If I said we're not in a market, they say we should say it's a market woman. If you say you're not in your kid, they'll say it's this. For me, that is not even, that is not relevant. And like I said, Senator Natasha did not come out to say I'm outraged. Mm. But for those who manufactured this outrage, I hope his manicured response was 
okay for them. Okay, so Although the issue is not about okay. Natasha. It's not about precise. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. Okay, it's being able to identify that, okay, this is a disrespectful statement. Exactly. It is it's not about those two people. It is and needs to be cautioned. So it is beyond. She doesn't. It, it, I think it's good that women can, or women or other men can also come out to recognize that okay, this is a disrespectful act or statement and it needs to be addressed. So you know, you need to we live in a patriarchal society, and everyone is aware of this, and yes. people are sensitive to these remarks, Precisely. and they feel so, that so most of these are sorry, sorry okay. to cut you, most of these remarks are deliberately being pushed to women, you know, to downgrade them, yeah. despite. Yeah. Their place in life, yeah, despite actually, how much they have thinking, right? Just like the experience I had, and I was like, I have heard whatever, what, whatever response I'm able to get, right? Just like you said, you, right? You I'm, I'm able to give suggestions, I'm able to, yes. you know, they've seen me deliver. So if, if my director or my boss is, you know, is wel welcomes my idea, it's because they've seen it, not because I am a woman. Or not because I am a lady or a female. Or not because, female, to them or not because I spoke to them exactly. <laughs> Wait, for, for that is a feminine way of speaking. No, that's what the colleague was trying yeah. to say. I'm just trying to exactly. That's part. But I get no men that have very sexy it's voices. Voice. Exactly. They do. See, look, look. Do not let us cry, uh, wolf. Women also look at men in a sexist way. We do. You can say, ah, this man is not all men. And that's how men behave. We say that every it's day. We say that saying. every day. So do not let one party claim complete innocence. Yes. So that means that all of us should now draw Caution up. Caution ourselves. Caution ourselves. Just not for women. It's not women. just for women. It's for, it's for women. For for women. women. For yes. yes. Uh, but I know it's tilted more again. But where mm -hmm. we, where okay. colleagues can no longer banter about things. You know, and we carry ours. Okay, let us be, look at all that he said and see which statement we can beat to death. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That my personal opinion is that whatever they are doing there, they obviously have a very decent uh, uh, interaction or relationship, you know, as colleagues and all of that. My point is where we are going to take umbrage, let us have some sense of quality attached to it let him revisit those prayers she had those that we ne yes yeah. we needed or we still need our waterways to be developed for transportation we need it we need that those women in um, in wherever yeah. in Abuja yeah. where that fact we actually need that there should be a response yes to support this these people because women are almost always whatever what people have failed mm -hmm. to recognize with um, Uncle Ababio now is that as they were going on their holiday and they've approved the 70,000, you say, okay, now, and I think again, that statement is tilted towards whatever. If you have, if you just had a baby and you employ a housemate, it's 70,000. No? Mm -hmm. If you have small tailoring uh, outfit, it's 70,000. No? It's only government. Mm -hmm. So are we going to now? sleep and say okay women are the ones that carry babies women are mostly tailors but i'm just saying that you have just refused to help uh, support a bill that will help women rebuild their businesses or people oh, rebuild their businesses and then where are, so if the person starts to have a little tailor uh, machine by the side you say oh the person must pay seventy thousand mm -hmm. nine. why would you do why would you now say such a thing for me that is such statements are the ones we should catch him on. Not, yeah, okay, if Senator uh, 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 Oti is upset by that statement that time, fine, uh, his apology. But for me, is that an apology? That's just another statement that he made. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that's what people want, okay, if that's what people want, okay. But I believe that Senator Natasha Oti has agency to say, this I didn't like, and this I like, or this one... I do not even want to dignify this statement. We pay this statement too much attention, too much attention, and it ran and it ran with it. That's that's my own. Like I said, it is the meat of her gist that was more important to me. That her bill, we should say, take her seriously. That's yeah. that's it. Yeah, right. yeah. But then, let's just be intentional about doing things right. Yeah. Oh, certainly, I, I, I agree. Our words matter. Including people and respecting yeah. people, mm -hmm. including people 
living with disability. Those yes. ones who some persons all tend to look down on them. Yeah, yeah. Then somewhere are reading, you see someone there you cannot, and you don't even provide social amenities or, or, or support or facilities to support mm -hmm. them. These guys are part of the society. Yeah. Their input will still drive the economy and Sorry, development. Sorry. So everyone should be respected. Chinese will be next after the break. Do stay tuned. <laughs>